Recently we had some folks reach out locally here that were buying some property and they needed some help with a perk test. They're looking at some property, thinking about buying it, they've got it under contract and they're in a due diligence period. One of the things that they wanted to make sure of was can they put a septic system in on this particular property. Definitely don't want to buy a piece of property and find out that you can't put a septic in. It would certainly limit your options. This is a, a view lot. It's on a steep piece of property. Building on a steep piece of property can have its challenges and part of that is where to find a flat spot to put in a leach field. When people reach out to me and ask what are some of the things that they should consider when buying property, the first thing I tell them is to do a perk test to take a look at the soils that are there on the property because those soils are going to tell you a lot about what it's going to cost to put in septic and to build on that property. Typically in the winter you don't do a lot of perk tests. It's a lot more difficult to get around the property. It's, it's harder to see some of the natural terrain features. It's harder to understand where the wetland areas might be, where there might be stream beds, where, where natural drainage might happen in the spring. But this year has been a very, very light winter. And you can see that the ground isn't really frozen, that the digging isn't very difficult. And so doing a perk test, digging, digging holes on the property to examine the soil is still, still doable. It just happened to work out. This is not, not typical for us at this time of year. We usually try and get down six or eight foot for a test hole to take a really good look at the soil layers and understand how the, the affluent is going to perk through that particular soil. Here in Bonner County, Idaho, septics are permitted through the health department. The local health department is Panhandle Health. They do all of the perk tests. We typically have to coordinate our site visit and digging holes with the schedule of the health department so that they can be on site to do the, the, the perk test, look at the soil, and help us understand where's the best place to put a leach field. Typically we, we will dig anywhere from two to eight different sites depending on what we find. Sometimes if the soil is is a, a good quality soil one or two holes would be sufficient other times we may end up digging holes all over the property looking for the right soil that's that's going to work for a particular system what we're finding on this property is that the soil is very silty there's a lot of clay in it and we're we're going to continue to keep digging holes and, and looking in other places see if we can find a place that will be well suited for the leach field
this particular property has some really great views and that's one of the advantages to having a piece of property that's on the side of a hill is you're going to have fantastic views but it definitely comes with its challenges in finding a good flat spots for a leach field for septic finding a flat spot to, a, to put a house typically these properties that are on the steeper slopes require a lot more earthwork that can get really expensive so those views do come with a price the people that reached out to us on this project haven't haven't purchased this particular property they're under contract and they're in a due diligence period where they they're out here looking at the soils looking at the options counting up the cost of what it's really going to take to be able to build a house put in a septic system drill a well and count count up the the, the whole cost of this property i get a lot of people that reach out and have questions about building a house or or septic or drilling a well i tell them that that there are some some really inexpensive properties that are cheap dirt but they are expensive to build on because of the soils it might require an engineered septic system that's really really expensive and it may require a well that is really really deep and really expensive and on the other hand there are expensive lots that either have those questions already answered or the soil allow for a less expensive easier to build septic system and wells that aren't going to be as expensive and so really understanding what it's going to take to put in your utilities on a piece of property needs to be part of of the total cost of that property I think that a lot of people assume that dirt is dirt is dirt and are surprised to find out that they could have saved a lot of money by understanding the costs associated with the particular property that they were buying. So this is a really good thing to do is get out and do a perk test but not only are you doing a perk test and looking at septic but you're starting to understand okay here's what the soils like here's what it might require for putting a foundation in looking at the well logs understanding what it might take to put in a well and really getting a feel for the total price of the property so if you're looking at property i would encourage you to get out and do your perk tests and look at the soils that are that are on that property look at the well logs that are there and really add up the cost it could save you a lot of money down the road appreciate you watching the videos leave your comments down below we'd love to hear from you and we'll catch you on the next video